Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install my HDR presets for Lightroom 4 and or Lightroom 5. Now, many of you know that Lightroom doesn't natively process normal HDR images, that is taking multiple images and merging them together to create a tone mapped single image. A Lightroom doesn't do that. You'd have to buy a plug-in or use Photoshop to do that. But Lightroom's very powerful and you could actually kind of create an HDR look with a single image using Lightroom. And what I've done is I've created 31 presets to give you all these different types of HDR looks. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how to install them in Lightroom and then I'll show you a couple examples of what they look like. Um, what typically happens whenever you buy presets for Lightroom on the internet you could download them right away and this, that's the way it is with mine and they'll be in a zipped file so the first thing you gotta do is unzip them and if you have a Windows or you know PC or you have a Mac natively in the operating system you'll be able to unzip the file just click on the zip dot zip file and it will unzip it what you have to do though is remember where you put it where you put the folder. Mine's going to have be in a folder called Anthony M's HDR presets. Now I just want to make a quick note. I do have another preset bundle, not HDR. It's just Anthony M's presets. Those that is 70 presets in that bundle. There are two HDR like effect presets in that bundle. This this new one, this uh, Anthony M's HDR presets are all original so there's no copies in this. This is all original presets. So there's 70 original ones here and 31 more original ones here but these 31 are all HDR look to them. Anyways as I was saying just remember where that folder is put and I put it on my desktop as you could see. So um, what you do is you open Lightroom you go to the develop module and you'll see on the left hand panel it has all these uh, tabs and the one you're interested of course is presets so you could open it up with that expose triangle and you could see I already installed my Anthony M's presets and then Lightroom comes with uh, just a bunch of general presets already what you gotta do is we're gonna create a folder first to put these new ones so just uh, on any of these just right click on one and you'll see a little menu pops up and we're gonna pick new folder and I'm going to call it Anthony M's HDR presets and click create. Now you can see it's right there at the top it's in alphabetical order. So what you want to do now is highlight that one. So we're going to store them in that one. The one you highlight is where you're going to be putting them all. So highlight that one then right click on it and we're going to click on import now this is where I said you have to remember where you um, put that folder that you unzipped. It's on my desktop so I'll just go right to my desktop. It's right there and it's Anthony M's HDR presets. It's right there and there they all are. Now what we gotta do is select them all. So all you gotta do is click on one and hit Command A or Control A. If you have a PC it's Control A. If it's a Mac, Command A and you select them all and then click import. And it will just take a second to import and they're in. Now there they are under the tab Anthony M's HDR presets. Now to use them all you gotta do is click on them. Let's do simple HDR light. And you can see one click. Look at that. Fantastic. Uh, you want even a stronger effect? Simple HDR medium. Um, let's say you wanna do a black and white. Black and white HDR medium. Um, let's see, how about a grainy look? How about a grainy uh, black and white strong? And it's, see it's got all this grain in it now. Um, you could reset to, um, I get this question a lot, can you um, like stack these um, presets or any presets in general um, on top of each other? Generally you can't. Um, in my other bundle, I kind of created them so most of them you could stack. But with the HDR ones, it's really impossible because there's so many sliders that have to get spun around uh, to do these effects. 
that uh, you can't really stack them. Um, so that's why it's nice to have presets for HDR because it saves you a ton of time when you're trying to do all these effects. So if you start doing them and they start looking funky, just go over here on the right panel and hit reset and it will bring us right back to the beginning. And um, let me see if I can find one of my favorites. Uh, desaturated grunge. I always like this one. This is desaturated grunge. Uh, so you can see there's a lot of cool effects um, in here. So uh, that's it. That's all you have to do to install um, these uh, really cool um, HDR type effect presets. And uh, you could take a single photo. And this is a photo here that's totally unprocessed. No processing was done. As you can see, it's all non-processed. All the lines are right down the middle. And then you could just go in and just do simple HDR medium and bam. You know, it really jumps out at you then. If that's a little too much, do light. But anyways, you could jump around, try different ones, and see if there's one you like. All right, that's it. I really uh, thank everyone that has bought my other package, the 70 preset package, which was Anthony M's preset bundle. Thank you very much. Um, I can't believe how many of those sold. And um, I hope you guys are in, that are interested in HDR uh, take a look at this package here. I think it's really nice. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.